Welcome to I Love Stocks, and what about that Tesla? Today's review is going to be number three. Today's date is February the 16th, 2020. Please subscribe to that YouTube channel and ring that bell for future updates. Vegas and I will be posting our Sunday reports in there and also the weekday reports along with other uh, charts and other just all kinds of educational stuff. We'll go back to the website. We also have a little Twitter bird down here. Hit that like follow button and Miss Vegas posts alerts in here on a daily basis. We also have our stock twits alerts right in here. If you hit either one of them, always remember hit that follow button and we're posting daily alerts in there on a regular basis. So let's get back to Tesla itself. You know, I, I just love Tesla. I've been a bull on it ever since it was below 100 bucks, and I'm still bullish on it. And I'm just a very big follower of Elon Musk, and he is my next Benjamin Franklin. And I'm also kind of buddying up against Richard Branson, too, with SPAC, space. So keep those two in mind when you're trading either one of these stocks. They're both good to watch, and they're getting a lot of notoriety. So let's... um. Go ahead and talk about the news that we had last week. You know, um, Tesla had an offering, had a $2 billion offering. And I believe that that might, I don't know if it's going to be something to pay off the Cybertruck plant in China or not, but that could be, could be part of it. Or they could be just saving it for their battery usage that comes out in April. We've got a big surprise coming out in April on the battery, so... Um, that's going to be just part of the news. They did have a $2 billion offering. It was small. I don't think it affected the stock one bit, but it did give a little notice to the bears to maybe hype it up a little bit for a bear play. And it did last bearish just for a short period of time, and then we broke out into the resistance highs that I mentioned last Sunday in the video. And I've done two videos already. I did an update video last week, and then I also did the first one, which was on last Sunday. So the next news that it got, there's the offering right there. And then it had a recall news. We had 15,000 models of the X electric SUV recalled. Now this here is the 2016 model. And it had to do with the power steering. Probably just a couple of bolts that need to be tightened up or something like that. But it wasn't a major issue in my opinion. It was a very small, I mean, all the way back to 2016, you're going to have recalls on any car. and But it give, like I said, like a double excuse, both the offering and the recall happened about the same time. So the bears thought they were going to bring this on down. And I've always said, and I was telling the room, I'm bullish on this stock. You know, it's a short, small play if you want to play the little pullback, but I guarantee when it dips down to my support lines, it's going to bounce back up, which it did. So let's kind of look at the two charts that I had. This is the first video I did. It call it a bullish bear trade of 2020. And I believe that along with bind, B-Y-N-D. But this video was made on the 9th. And as you can tell, I had a little channel that I wanted to keep the stock in. And I didn't want it to break below that channel. If it did, I wanted, I wanted to create a channel is what I wanted to do this week. And by gosh, if we didn't do that and we hit my little hard resistance, which I'll talk about here later in the room or later later down the line, but I think that was right here around the 8.13.89. I said I didn't want it to go above that. I wanted to come back down and, and create a little channel in here. And we did pull back to that low support of the channel. Now on the second one, let me bring this back down, and I, video number two, you can tell this is the first week, this is when I come out with a report, and then that morning we had the breakup past resistance, and here we did, we hit that. If you watch this video that I did on Sunday, I just said I didn't want it to go anywhere past 813.89, and we hit that 813.89 and then pulled back. And that's what this stock does. It kind of pulls back a little bit, but it stayed within that little pivot point that I had right in here. As you watch that first video, there's a little red line chalked right in here. And I'll widen this up a little bit. Right down here at 754.74. And I said I wanted to keep that in that channel. As you see, the red line right there and pulled right back to the top of that, to the inside of that pivot point. 
channel. And it did kind of, it kind of consolidated the next day. And then we were getting that news that came out about the end of the day with the, uh, with the, um, with the uh, offering and also with the uh, recall and it pulled it back it pulled it back to the support level that I had already on here at 732.35 and then she went ahead and bounced on up got back up into the what I would call the gift area I said anytime it went past that 793 to 813 that was going to be a gift and look what happened we were right here and she went ahead and she hit that high again and it was a gift. So if you took your money, that's fine. If you wanted to swing it into next week, I can understand that too. Because we did have, even with the recall news, it didn't get shorted that much. And it did create a higher low, which is positive. And on the way up, we had that double top. So we could be setting up for a double top breakout if it pulls back to this pivot point or maybe this top line of this pivot point area. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, and we're going to go ahead and pull up the chart now. But if you want, go back and watch those other two videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So let's go to the chart, and I've got it right here. And this is kind of how I'm looking at it for this week. We did have the higher low, which I, I appreciate that. We kind of got right down here on the wick, and we hit this right here. So I'm going to extend that on out. And I want to try to keep that trend, if I can keep that trend going. If not, I do have a little pivot point area right now, or a lower support area right down in this area right here. This is going to be my low support. I do not want to see it go below 697.57. If it does, I can bring it on down to these other support levels, which is right here at 648. Let me change this up. But I've been, I've been watching this every day. This is my number one stock to play. I can play this every day. Just follow the trend. Either way, which way the trend is. And then when it starts to kind of settle and, and compress a little bit, it might pull back to a support level. But we do see that, that head and shoulders right here. And she did kind of, the next day, did have higher lows. And, but she did pull back on that recall news. And then here we are back up here with a double top. So I'm kind of excited about this trade. We did have a nice run on that day, and then she consolidated on Friday. So let me pull up the yearly chart and just have a look at the yearly. It's had a wonderful run all the way from the call that we made at 180 in the room up to the 200. Then she pulled back. I had the golden cross right here, and then it's been green all the way up. You know, even with the, the, the cyber truck fallout, of the cracked windshield it did kind of pull back on that news earnings came out and bam and it didn't take long to catch on and the ride went all the way up to about eight six nine sixty eight ninety nine we had a target of a grand and we come pretty close so i alerted time to play the bear on it let the bears have their way you know i'm a fan of the bears i'm not a bear but i, I can play a bearish way if i want to and i do on some tickers but I'm really a bullish trader. I like to play the bulls, play along with the bulls. I just think it's, it's, it makes me happier knowing that I'm trying to bring it up instead of down. But we have had a ascending triangle here. If you look on this run, we've had the higher lows. And it just keeps on making them higher lows. And we kind of have what I would call almost a, a, a symmetrical flag, but not with too much of a steep or a pennant flag, you could call this a pennant flag also. And I'm gonna bring that, show you what I mean here. We'll hit this little spot right here, bring her on down. So we've kind of got us a little pennant flag going and we're about ready to, I think maybe into this coming week, we do have a four day period. There might be a little pause in the market a little bit, but I've been bullish on on Wall Street for the last three years as a um, private sector play, not as um, the government kind of play, but I've been retail. I think the retail traders are really getting into trading stocks and it's kind of putting pressure on the, on the fat cats up there on Wall Street. So they kind of have to just play along with us. I think we, I think we're to the point now, maybe in another five years that the retail trader 
will have a lot more uh, gravity, a lot more um, sustainment in playing the market, and the and the big fat cats will be following us for a little while. But here we are. We're going to check this out again on the daily. I want to break the resistance of around 810. If we can break that, we can get up to my 813 high level. And that's going to be the next resistance is going to be right here at 813. And I'm going to change this up. I think I need to probably go to the to the five day. Yeah, five day gives me a little bit better picture. We have a support level right in here. Let me bring it up just a tad to the 797.99 around the $800. That brings it right to the 200 EMA. You have your first support, and then your second one's going to be probably in this little channel right in here. We could bring it down to the 775.54 area for a double bottom, but let's try to keep it up into this channel right here but it can come down to like i said the low low part of the support area which i'm changing it now to 829 it's gone up 829.89 to 852.50 so i don't want it to break any lower than this 8729.89 area in case some bad news comes in or the bears get a hold now this is a trade that i like to kind of be patient with i look at it pre-market and then when i start seeing the buys come in on the tape that's when I decide I'm going to go ahead and buy my options. I don't swing it overnight much. I'm not that way with this stock. I'd rather play it on the move. And it can take some pretty drastic moves. It can pull back pretty hard, and it can bounce pretty pretty nice. But um, there's more bears getting involved in it. I mean, not more bears, but more bulls are being a little stronger than the bears right now. You're going to have your bears on this trade. So always remember, just treat them with kindness. Tease them a little bit. Give them a little salmon and watch them jump the creek. I think we're the dam's going to be right around here around 813. That's what we got to break. If we can break that 813, we're going to go back to the previous highs that we had. Let's go to the 10-day, and that's going to be up in this area right here. So if we break that 813, you can almost count on it going up to 822. Not 820. Well, let me get this right. Yeah, 822.22. Then you got another little resistance level right here around 833.57. But we are creating lower highs, and I appreciate that. And we are kind of getting into a squeeze play. Maybe this week will be the week that it decides to go ahead and consolidate a little bit more, and then we'll break that resistance. Or we'll and always look for patterns in this trade. Look for the ascending triangles. Look for the lower highs for maybe a, a, a pullback. But when we start to consolidate up here, here on the top, it starts to get a little tired and it'll pull back a little bit. See, we had this kind of consolidated area for about 25, well, about an hour, hour and a half. Well, well one, two, two and a half hours. And it never could break that 810. So you, you have to think, man, that's going to be the time that it wants to pull back a little bit. Take your profit, jump back in the trade on the pullback, and then watch the trend on the way up. And this is Tesla. And I'll do another real keep doing reviews on Tesla and I'll probably just keep doing all doing until I quit trading. I do love this stock. And let me go back to our website. This is I Love Stocks. Have a great day.